Now I'm going to show you how to add a pass in Abacus so that we can extract uh, stress or displacement uh, along that pass in Abacus. So for this demonstration, so I'm going to use the example that we used uh, in our last lecture. So here we have a dog bone specimen and we have a pressure applied uh, on this edge and this is a quarter of the uh, dog bone dog bone specimen and we are going to create a pass along this uh, uh, edge and extract uh, uh, long longitudinal stress and mimesis stress along this uh, pass. So in order to create a pass you go to tool and pass and create. So here you give a pass link. So let's use uh, uh, middle pass and I'm going to create a load list and continue. So here you need to uh, select add before or add after. So add before and after is trying to define the edge based on your selection. However, for lo load list, uh, it doesn't matter. So you can just use uh, add before. So if you click uh, this point, then this will be your, this will be your start, starting point. So you can see we have a start here. And this will be our next point. This will be our next point. And this will be our last point. So you can see that uh, um, our pass starting from here and ended from here. So if you have, uh, if later on you are going to plot uh, um, the stress with respect to this pass, you know we are starting where the length is measured from uh, here. So then we click uh, down and then click uh, OK. So now we are going to extract uh, vermicid stress and uh, longitudinal stress. So we go to tool and XY data. So we are going to create, uh, uh, we are going to export uh, stresses along this path. So we usually we use the ODB failed output. So this time we use the path and click uh, continue. So here we have a, a path called a middle path. And uh, here, so for x value, so we are going to use true distance. So true distance uh, means uh, the dimensions that you defined here. So and this is uh, the frame, which frame you are going to export. So usually we just export the results from the last frame, which is the time period is equal to one. And here you can change your output variable. So here you can choose uh, one misses stress, or you can just go to, you can find the X, uh, S11, which is the longitudinal stress. So here I'm going to act, I'm going to use the uh, Vimitz stress as an example. So we click uh, OK. So now we have uh, all this. Uh, uh, now we have uh, uh, everything is everything is ready. So you can plot. Then you can see here at the distance uh, x is equal to zero, measured from the starting point. We have uh, here uh, Vimitz stress. And uh, when the length is uh, 25 uh, uh, units of length measured from the starting point, we have a uh, stress which is equal to uh, 600 uh, and one six hundred and one point uh, uh, length 7. So in order to explore this data in Excel, so we need to use uh, CVS and we give uh, this data name. So we call it uh, middle pass and uh, misses. So then we click uh, OK. So you can see we have this uh, data called a uh, middle pass when misses saved. Then we can go to report x, y, and then we have this data. And then we need to export this data. So we can name it uh, like uh, middle. 
one misses, right? And click uh, OK. Now this uh, file has been saved uh, to the default folder, which is the temp file here. So let's use uh, Excel to open it. So, so we go to Browse and here go to Temp and we switch to all files and we have this and click open so the file extension doesn't match do you still want to open it anyway yes so i think i just uh, forgot to put a t t dot txt there but it doesn't matter you can always uh, open it uh, in excel and let's click uh, next and we use space to divide it into two columns and finish. So we have this. So this is our distance measured from a starting point. So distance uh, from here, measured from here. So distance from a starting point. And here we have a uh, one misses stress, and then we can plot them. So you can see this is uh, the distance. This is uh, the stress. So similarly, you can export uh, longitudinal stress and plot them. So this curve is a uh, is a uh, will be different from the your uh, assignment uh, assignment seven question two. This is just for demonstration.